video, I want to show you how I cook the chicken soup, make the chicken broth from the scratch. Well, I know whenever you Google about chicken soup, actually there are so many junk recipes jump out. Actually, even you Google about Chinese chicken soup recipe, you know, we usually make our homemade chicken broth. I don't like the, the super supermarket grocery store, that type of the one. No, I don't like it. It tastes totally different. I like to make my own. So um, there are also, there are so many recipes about different kinds. I'm going to show you this is a very, very basic one and also super, super simple one of the chicken soup you can make at home. Just use your slow cooker, um, simmer it for two hours, that's it. Well, the ingredients are also very, very simple. Be, um, uh, before I give you the ingredients I'm going to use, I also want to tell you something. Like maybe when you Google it, some of the Chinese version uh, chicken soup, sometimes they put with different kinds of herbal medicine inside of it, for instance like ginseng or sometimes like in the Chinese supermarket you can find this like a package of those uh, chicken soup or whatever soup with those kind of you know uh, different types of herbs mixed together in a bag you all can get it from every single uh, grocery store Asian market is so simple and easy just grab a pinch of every single thing and toss it into the soup and into a slow cooker and simmer it together for hours then it's ready so, um, and also sometimes people put different types of vegetables, such as mushroom, corn, carrot, they all taste very good. So again, today is just a basic one. And usually I make it and then I can put it in the fridge for a couple months, no problem. And also I usually use it to cook together with different kinds of other things. For instance, I can make my uh, mushroom soup with this homemade chicken broth. I can make my huantan soup with just homemade chicken broth, something like that. So this is something basic you can cook for another delicious food. That is what I'm going to show you. So let's come down to the ingredients. So ingredients, these two. Actually this chicken bone, you can see it's not really whole chicken, right? Uh, this is another thing I want to explain to you. You may also find some people put a whole chicken into the slow cooker to cook it, it's no problem. But also depends on how many people are going to enjoy it. Like us, my family, only, only two of us, so usually I think it's too much meat for us to eat. And usually we all love the soup. Nobody want to eat the chicken because it's too plain the taste of it. And all of the flavor all go into the soup. So I always prefer use the chicken bone over than the whole chicken. So usually, like when I purchase like uh, uh, the chicken legs, I'm going to peel down, peel out, uh, cut out all of the meat part and cook it with other things. Actually, right now I'm cooking the chicken uh, uh, parts, the chicken leg cut into pieces and cook with chest chestnut on the stove. This is the rest of the bone I peel out from the bone. This is actually good enough for your scratch of your to make your homemade chicken broth. Well, besides it, I also have a cube of ginger and two spring onion and some cooking alcohol. That's it. You may wonder why I don't use salt at all. Ooh, look at it. So why I don't use salt at all. Remember this is like a scratch. This is like a basic chicken broth. You are going to cook with other things together. So that's the reason why I prefer the plain. No season, I mean no salt seasoning inside of it. In case later on when you cook it, you forget it. And then you know, like put too much salt and make it too salty. That's the reason why this scratch, this chicken broth is plain. I'm not going to put salt inside of it. So let's start it. Number one thing. Before you put it into the slow cooker, you need to put the water into the chicken bowl in the pot and then put it onto the stove to boil it. How much water you put into your pot? Actually, it depends. Depends on how much chicken broth you want. So we are going to boil it to keep it boiling because we want those you know, bloody things come out from the chicken bone and that also can remove the outer of the raw chicken. So, wait a second. Alright, so after boiling, you keep it boiled for a couple minutes because you want all of those kind of blood things come out from the chicken bone and that will largely remove the outer from this raw meat. And then we are going to take those foam out. Well, then we are going to get ready for my 
my slow cooker actually uh, I'm going to do it just pour it here um, well you see I have already put the uh, spring onion and ginger at the bottom of the slow cooker and right now I'm going to remove all of the chicken bone, chicken leg and soup into the slow cooker And then you need to put like one tablespoon of the cooking alcohol instead of it. And I put my slow cooker into high and cook it uh, for two hours. Let me show you later after I finish my chicken soup ready. Okay. So after two hours cooking, let's check about our chicken soup. Smells so good. Well, just like what I've said, it's so easy to cook um, and also so simple to cook. You can just uh, put it, I usually to uh, separate it into different bowls and then fray them into the fridge. So next time I want to cook it, I just grab one bowl and either put for the noodle, wonton, or just mushroom soup or whatever. This all tastes super delicious. And I promise you, homemade chicken soup, homemade chicken broth is much better than the one you got it from grocery store. Try it. You must do it. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up to this video. Come to my blog and check about other healthy, easy cooking Chinese recipes I share with you guys together. And subscribe to me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.